Welcome back to Crack the Windows, your trusted destination for solving real windows problems with real solutions. Today's video is for anyone who's been hit with the nightmare scenario. You plug in your external hard drive and nothing shows up. No device in file explorer. Nothing in disk management. Not even a flicker in device manager. You start panicking, thinking, is my data gone forever? That's exactly what happened to me with my 2TB Seagate external HDD. But, I fixed it, and recovered all my personal data. So stick with me till the end, because this step-by-step -step guide might just save your data too. The drive had important files, personal documents, backup videos, and Windows simply refused to detect it. I connected it to my laptop, so I checked my computer, not listed, waited, and nothing. Open device manager, not even detected there. Tried disk management, the drive didn't exist. At this point, it looked like a complete hardware failure, but I didn't give up. Because here's the truth, the external case might fail, but the actual HDD inside could still be alive. So here's what I did. I opened the external HDD's black casing. I used a small screwdriver to carefully pry open the case. Only do this if you're okay with voiding any warranty, and when your data is more valuable than the drive. Once opened, I showed the internal components. If you're watching this right now with a dead or undetected external HDD, before you throw it away or spend money, try this first. This method works for most external HDDs, including Seagate, WD, Western Digital, Toshiba, and more. If this video helped you or saved your data, smash that like button, drop a comment if you've faced this issue. I gently detached the USB adapter from the actual SATA hard disk and found the USB to SATA bridge connector, which is what usually fails in most external HDDs. It's a small circuit board that converts your drive's SATA interface to USB. And in my case, that was the culprit. Now, I had a regular 2TB SATA HDD in my hands, just like any internal hard drive. It's best to connect the SATA drive directly to the motherboard using a SATA cable and power. If not, you can use a SATA to USB adapter or dock, but only if you suspect the original USB bridge was faulty. I opened File Explorer. It was instantly detected. No corruption, no damage. At that moment, I honestly felt a huge wave of relief. All my files were there. So many memories, personal documents, saved projects, all safe. This trick doesn't just save your files, it saves your peace of mind. And you don't need expensive data recovery software or professional services. Make sure to subscribe to Crack the Windows, because I bring you real Windows fixes that actually work. Thank you for watching.